You're both on the other side. What's the one thing that you want the guys who are coming through this program to take away from their experience? I think the biggest thing is just to make the most out of your time, uh, whether it's four or five years. Uh, it goes by very fast and the opportunities are slim. I mean, whether it's D1, D2, D3, NAIA, JUCO, there's not a lot of opportunities out there for players to, to get that experience. And so once they have that, what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna, are you gonna coast by? Are you gonna, or are you gonna put in the work? Are you gonna get the most out of your, again, four to five years while you're here, on the court and off the court, you know, especially, and especially educationally, because the ball's gonna stop bouncing at some point. Like Wilder says, it goes by so quick. And the good thing is that we're still young enough where we can kind of relate to the guys on the team, where we can, you know, we, we've gone through a lot of the experiences that they're going through now. Um, but yeah, it's all about those four or five years that you're here to make the most of it, not only on the floor, but off the floor. And I think especially the relationship with your teammates. I mean, again, it's just, this is an experience that not a lot of people get to have, and we're fortunate and we're you know, appreciative of the fact that we were able to have that and that our guys now are able to have that. Um, and you two, Alex got married uh, last June and you know, I was at his wedding <laughs> and you know, a bunch of our teammates were at the wedding and, and you know, a couple of coaches, Coach Turner came, Coach Ryan came, and, you know, just relationships like that that you're going to carry with you for life. Wilder, why did you like playing with Lex? Because he was a great passer. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, no, I mean, Lex, um, I could tell from, from his visit, I mean, from the time that he came on his official visit, uh, we played an open gym, you could tell that there was something different and something special about his game. Um, and he came from a place that nobody had ever heard of. I thought he was from Arizona because he said he was from Phoenix, <laughs> but he was from Oregon. Um, <laughs> but, um, but like I said, you could just tell. And he had a matureness about him that you just didn't see from a lot of young players um, you know, every day. He's a high IQ player who really cared about his teammates and, and again, was a great leader on the court. And so that was what I loved most about him. Yeah, that's, that's all. I wish you had asked me first. You know, everybody talks about Wilder's hair, but they don't understand the character that this man has. I mean, he's one of the greatest, nicest people I've ever met and come into contact with in my life. If I ever have a daughter, I want her to marry somebody that's identical to the person that he is because of how great he is. And he continues to do that as now we're on the other side. Uh, he did make a couple shots here and there for me when I passed him the ball, but yeah, just a few. But I mean, he's one of the, he's got to be like one of the top three, top two highest character guys I've ever met in my life. And, and I don't say that just to say that because he's here. I would tell anybody that. And um, I mean, this guy means the world to me. And there's, so, there's only a few things that I can say to express the meaning that he has in my life. But uh, he's been one of the best teammates, if not the best teammate I've ever had, hands down.